So I've been asked by a few of my subscribers on my YouTube channel to make a instructional video how to fly the, uh, the I like to call it the bird inside of Isla Nubla uh, or Isle Nation or one of those particular servers that's running the Averma uh, patch. So we're going to chew this this um, petrodon and we're going to jump into a location. Let's just go north. So how do you actually fly this thing? It's pretty straightforward really. Um, obviously as a baby you have very minimal stam. Sprinting will actually use your stam up and the sprint key obviously is the shift key. Um, that can also be said the same for when you're flying. You can fly very fast using the shift key but doing so uses your stam very quickly. The Q key allows you to sniff and give you a direction. On this particular branch of the, uh, of the map the upward arrow at the top of your screen is showing north. Downward arrow is showing south. So that would obviously be west, that would obviously be east. By sniffing you see foot tracks, footprints, etc. and also water and food uh, for your particular species. Obviously if you're, you're a herbivore you'll sniff plants, if you're a carnivore you'll hear sniff blood. But I do believe herbivores also can smell um, blood as well, just to keep them a warning. So I'm flying up now. The shift, the space bar takes me up and you can see my stam bottom right hand corner. I've currently run out of stam. Quick tip for this is never just drop from the sky. You can use your um, your G key, uh, sorry, your, I think it's your Z key on here um, to fly down. I've actually, re no, it might be G actually. I've rebound my key to a mouse button on the right side of my mouse. Just because if you think about it, holding the, I think it is the Z key actually, holding the Z key to drop down actually stops you from using your A key to turn left because obviously your left finger will be pressing the Z and you won't be able to reach the A key so I've rebound it to a side button on the side of my mouse so that the, um, the, the key itself I can still use the A key to turn and I use my thumb to actually descend. It's actually quite a good idea. Um, I'm just going to grab some more stamp just to show you. So basically rebinding the keys straightforward, press the escape key, click on settings, click on controls on the top right, and then you'll see air brake here. I've rebound it to my thumb mouse button too. If you don't have a button on the left side of your mouse, it's a good idea to put that air brake onto the right mouse if you can. So you could use the middle mouse button on your on your mouse to um to, to basically do the air brake. It's much better, just trust me, it's much, much better to do that. It works really well. Okay, so we're back in here, we've got three quarters stam. So just the idea of when you're a baby is just to try and get yourself up and off the ground and higher than the, the actual tree line if possible. If not, fly through the trees. But um, never hold your thumb directly down on the, on the space bar for a long period of time as it uses all of your stamina in a very short amount of time. So just lifting yourself, up, gaining some height, trying to find some slopes that you can gain some more height. And then once you get yourself above the tree line, you can try and land in the trees on a rock that's higher up. So the next time you take off, you're already high. So you can glide further. Alrighty, so simple controls. The space bar lifts us off the ground. We're gonna go this way just to show you. Space bar lifts you off the ground. A and D to turn left and right. If you hold the W key while in flight, it actually points you wherever you look. So you start flying wherever you're looking. So I'm looking to the right, I'll turn to the right. If I'm looking to the left, I turn to the left. If I look up, I'll start flying up. Okay, so that's the, the, D, the W keys. That's really, rather than glancing around without pressing your W key, which I'm doing now, if I press my W key while looking that direction, I automatically turn that direction. Okay. So the A and the D is left and right banking. The mouse will allow you to just look around all directions. The scroll wheel on your mouse will allow you to zoom in. Almost get a first person perspective kind of thing. You can actually sniff while flying. That's holding the Q key down for a few seconds and it gives you direction. I'm currently heading south. I'm going to go all this direction in fact. I'm heading towards another part of the map near some rocks and some water. Now the, the left control key, um, if you press that without doing anything else, you'll actually dive. So I'll touch it quickly and you'll see me, me diving like that. You just dive down. So it's good for like jumping off cliffs and rocks and stuff. 
However, the other thing is, if you press your Z key to do your brake, air brake, you normally come down at an angle, like this. You're coming down at an angle. But if you press your left control key at the same time, I'll try and give you an angle here, you actually come straight down, okay, like that. So you can let go of the left control key and you move forward again as you're descending. And if you hold down, while holding that Z key, if you press your left control key, you go vertically down. So you can actually land on top of trees. So I'm going to turn around, I'm going to aim for this tree here, and we'll see if we can get a landing. You're aiming for the right on the centre of the tree, right on the actual the uh, trunk of it. And if you get it right, which I did, you can actually sit in a tree and then sit down, get stamped. So which means I'm already a like, good 10 feet off the ground before I take off again. So that's a good way of doing precision landings. You basically hit your Z key, start to descend, but obviously as you're descending, you're descending at an angle. But then if you hit your left control key at the same time, you go straight down vertically. And that actually brings you, uh, you can you can pretty much land on the edge of rocks and right next to your friends and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, we'll show you once I get a bit more stamp, we'll do a speed flight and then we shall show you how to do fishing. Obviously you need to catch fish, being hungry. Bear in mind I am only just a baby, I'm not very big at all, 12% growth. Have to watch out for dinosuchuses, I have to need to find some water as well. Alrighty. So let's just go this way. So we've got a little bit of height. go towards water which is over this way so holding your left shift key actually gives you a little turbo so which I'm going to do now so you get a bit more speed up here we go flap 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 really quick all my stam is now used which means now all I can do is glide so if you're gliding and you're flying down between the trees you need to make sure you don't hit any of the trunks of the trees and if you actually decide to do the descent, the air brakes to go to the ground, you must not let go of your Z key because you have no stam to recover if you're falling. That's something I see a lot of people doing because you'll just plummet out of the sky and kill yourself. So the water's down here. So I'm going to land down here. I'm going to hit my brakes. I want to get close to the water. Um, I might I can see fish down there, which is awesome. I might just try. I won't even bother landing on the tree, just in case I miss, I'll fall out the, the tree and probably hurt myself. So I'm just going, just going to come down, nice and easy. Come down in this bush here, get my stand back and then we'll do a little fish. So it's still grown, only 15%. These take just over an hour, hour and a bit I think to grow, maybe an hour and a half, no more. It's not that bad. They're quite good fun. Obviously, because they don't have much of a bite force, you can annoy other dinosaurs by like dive bombing them and giving them little bites to the back of the head. They don't do much damage, unless the dinosaur you're attacking is uh, very, very wounded. But they are still good fun. Alrighty, that's almost enough stamina to fish. Just half stem will be enough. Okay, so here we go. Fishing, stay quite close to the ground. We need to skim over the water, find those bubbles, hold the right mouse button and try and look down down behind your butt so you can see where you are. As soon as your head starts drop, bot, dropping down, like this, I'm just going to see where it is, I'm going to turn around in a second. You just need to use the press your right mouse button and nothing else. I'm just going to keep pressing it until I start dripping like that. And then just touch my spacebar key to try and keep myself up. So the space bar, just hold it on the corners. Oh, a bit too low there. Hold it on the corners so you don't fall in. There'll be crocs in these waters somewhere. I'm just keeping an eye on my stamina as well. Get my head in the water, looking for the fish. Maybe here, nope, not there.
didn't want to find any this time. Let's go over this way a bit. I need land to get some more stam. We're just hoping no dinosaurs saw us. <laughs> it could be jumping, jumping, coming for a chomp. When you're a much bigger um, bird, you can pretty much just hover over the over the water quite a lot. Don't have to worry about the stam running out too much. But as a baby, um, it can go down pretty quick. Alrighty, there we go. Let's try again. Just take off. Just gonna pan around. Let that head go in the water. Keep an eye on the butt so it doesn't go down too far. I'm trying to see where those bubbles are. Sometimes you find the bubbles move off the lake, they move further down or further up the river. So let's just go up here a tiny bit, see if I can see them. Is that some there? Yeah, just one or two there. Cool. And as soon as you have that bit of writing, where you're flying over those, uh, over the the actual bubbles, you'll see a fish. That was a quite a big fish. Now. Tips for eating. If you if you eat it while it's in your mouth, as in press the E key to eat, you'll swallow the whole fish in one go. And if you only have a tiny slither of um, food that you need, then you're going to make yourself sick. If you've got quite a big chunk of food missing out of your stomach, you can eat the whole thing in one go. So if you don't want to eat the whole fish in one go, you can drop it on the floor by pressing your G key like that. And then you can nibble it, so you can just walk over and just take a few bites. And you won't, you won't actually fill up instantly, you can just dry some. You can also eat out of other people's mouths. So if they have it in their mouth, you can eat it like this out of their mouth. And you'll see the fact that my stomach is now full and I haven't finished the fish. If I had eaten it in one go, I would vomit. I'm going to do it anyway, just so you can see. And now I've just vomited. Blech. So now I've lost the ability to fill my stam all the way up. My stomach will not fill all the way up because it's um, I've been sick, and my water won't fill all the way up, so that's no so good. Drinking, obviously, you look over the water and press the E key. If you are wounded, as in you've been bitten or scratched or hurt by hitting a tree, etc., and you're bleeding, um, you can wallow, and you can wallow where anywhere that there's actually brown, wet mud, and it will just change your colour, as you can see. Change your colour, make you more of a browny colour, and that actually um, sort of stems the flow of the blood. And obviously, birds can uh, the, the flying mechanics quite cool. There's more fish down there. You're looking for the bubbles when you're looking for fish, so you fly down the river looking for bubbles. Obviously, you can sniff in case anyone's left any um, carcasses on the side of the river, which I'm not seeing any right now. And um, if you have enough height, you can land in trees to keep away from other dinosaurs, or you can land in rocks to try and avoid bigger dinosaurs. You can even land on logs if you're if you're getting quite good. I'll try, I'll try this one here. See so if I can get onto it. Oh, that's a bit too high. I think. Here we go. Like that. So once you once you kind of work out the. Uh, the landing mechanic of the of the Z key and also the left control at the same time, you can pretty much land anywhere and then you can survive that way. Obviously you can bring fish to your um, your friends or your babies if you have babies and you can do that just by carrying the fish. If the fish is too big, as in you just saw a fish a moment ago in the water, that one's way too big to carry but you can drag it along the ground if you need to. I hope that is helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions or any issues. Uh, just post them down in the message board. Thanks very much. Take care.